Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my uh, second podcast entitled Write Service and Write Your Own Paycheck. My name is Jeff Cowan, coming to you from thejeffcowan.com. All right, hey, this is our second one, and you'll remember last week, we're going to jump right into this. Like I told you, we were going to every week, but you remember last week, I gave you a homework assignment, and that homework assignment was to figure out first what you wanted from life. You remember there was a six-step plan. Let me just briefly go over it. What type of lifestyle did you want? You need to figure out once you did that how much money it was going to take to, to have that type of lifestyle. Then you wanted to, uh, we need to talk about make sure that you're representing the right products and working with the right company to support that. What type of skills you're going to need was step number four. And then number five was where are you willing to pay the price? And number six, are you in a position now or at a job or working with a company that will pay that? And the answer for most of you is yes, you are. All right. And then I told you to come back this week and we'd talk a little bit more uh, about that. But uh, before we get into that, I had some people call in, I had some people write in, and the, and the number one question I was getting is, well, Jeff, you know, you said that this is about how to make $100,000 plus writing service. You know, write service, write your own paycheck, how to make up to and beyond $100,000. And boy, you know, I go out there every day, and I just don't know if it's there to get, and, and I just don't know if you can really make that happen, and blah, 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 blah. Well, the fact of the matter is there's somewhere between 15 and 20% of the people right now in the United States of America writing service on service drives at both car dealerships, chain stores like Firestone, Goodyear, Pep Boys, and for independents that are making that type of money. It's a fact that it can happen and there's reasons why. So let's talk about some of these reasons why they're doing it and how they're doing it and what it is you may be missing if you're one of those people that are doing this job now and saying, hey, I don't, I don't know, man, I don't know. Well, there's probably a lot of things going on. Number one, you probably don't understand your customer, but there is one thing that these people that are making that kind of money among many other things they understand. And here's one of the th here's the key thing. They understand that this customer picked you. Your customer picked you. They picked you. They picked you. They picked you. They picked you. Now here's what I mean. If you yourself were going to go out tonight and you were going to buy a brand new product or service before you ever left your house, what would you do? You would do like everybody does, right? You would Google that what it is you're looking for. Well, guess what? So do your customers. They Google you. And when they Google, and what I mean by that is this. They know, they wake up today and they realize they need a, a product or service or repair, some type of maintenance or something for their vehicle. What do they do? They Google it. Okay, what is it I need? And when they Google it, they're typically led to one of the three major blogs out there that are written by master technicians. And on those blogs, they will be told what it is they will need. For example, they may be told, they're likely to be told this every time. What you're looking at is easy. It's not going to take a lot of time. Could be covered under warranty. Might even be free. And in the same blog, they're told that what you're looking at could be a very big job that takes a lot of time and costs a lot of money. And now that they know what they need, they then Google who does that. And this is where it gets interesting because your company's name, and maybe your name if you're an independent, your name comes up on a website on average with nine other places they could go to get that service, but they pick you. All right. So what's my point? Because there's something on that website that made them believe that you can do what it is they were told they needed to have done for this in the time frame within the, the, the fee structure and everything that they learned. There's something on your website made them believe that you could do that. What's my point? Here's how come you can make $100,000 because it's never been easier to sell service on a service drive anywhere than it is right now in the whole history of the car industry. Why? Because when they get to your shop, they're already sold, sold on the time, sold on the money, and sold on you. What's the big difference here? You see, it wasn't more than 10 years ago. It was the advent of the, the, the uh, iPhones, as a matter of fact, that changed it all. It wasn't more than 10 years ago that if a customer wanted to do business, they knew they needed a product or service, what they'd have to do is get up out of their chair, get in their car, and drive down the street, and depending on where your business was located, what it looked like and was written on the sign would largely dictate whether or not they were going to choose you as a potential to help them out, potential person to help them out. And if they did pull into your service drive, you basically had about five minutes to prove to them that you could not only handle what they came in for, but do it in a timely fashion for a fair fee. But today, when they get to your service drive, they're already sold. Okay, they're all ready sold. Again, it's never been easier in, 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 the, in the auto industry than it is right now to sell service on a service drive and sell repairs and sell lots of them than it is right now. So, but the question is, well, Jeff, what happens, I don't understand. When I go out there, my customers 
push back. When I go out there, my customers uh, are hard to sell. When I go out there, my customers tell me they don't have the money. When I go out there, my customers tell me they don't have the time. When I go out there, my customers, I might get to work with them once, but I never see them again. So why are they leaving? Well, let's talk about why they're leaving. They're probably leaving because of you. Now that's hard to hear, but you got to look at it this way. You can't blame the business once the customer's in front of you. They got it. They, they, they developed the product your customer wants. You can't blame your managers and the, and the marketing team because they did what they need to get them here. And now that they're here, it's just you and them. So who else is at fault? So what it means is, is if your customers aren't responding the way you want, is that you've not developed the skill, the believability, the process, and the like in yourself to make it happen. So here's why they would be hard to sell or to leave. Number one, you don't know them. Now, the average service drive that we step on today, we find that they have processes in place for a customer that was coming in 10 or 15 years ago. And guess what? That customer's not coming in anymore. They're gone. It's a brand new customer. So we don't even know who the customer is. So you don't know, you don't know them. You have old processes in, in, in place. And you don't offer them everything they believe they need. You just step out there and take the easy way out. You just ask them, what do you want? You write it down. And then you turn it over to the tech, and the tech turns it back over to you, and you fix the car, and they leave, and you think you're great because you're making an average of $65,000 a year, which puts you in the top 15% of income earners out there in the United States of America. So you think everything's fine. But you know what? They Googled you, and they Googled what they needed. And when they were on that blog, that technician said, and by the way, when you're in for this, with this type of car at that mileage, don't be surprised if they don't ask you to do this, this, and this, because that's what you need. Or they looked in their owner's manual, and their owner's manual says at this mileage, you're going to need this, this, and this. Or they walked in, and your menu boards on your wall said you're going to need this, this, and this, but you never brought it up because you were too lazy to do what it takes. So... How do you keep them forever, and how do you keep them coming back, and how do you put yourself on the path to making six figures, $100,000, like 15 to 20% of the people that are doing the job you're doing right now are making? Well, you might have to learn some word tracks. <gasps> Jeb, I don't like word tracks. I don't want to sound like a robot. I, 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 I'm different. My people come in because they like me. My people come in because, because I have personality. My people come in and they have char because I have charm. All right, well, well, I'm going to give you the solution to get around wanting to learn word tracks, but before I do, I have to tell you about my sponsor. It's Lightspeed VT. Now, you remember from last week and from every podcast, Lightspeed VT is in Las Vegas, Nevada. Their telephone number is 702-369-4260. Again, 702-369-4260. And just in case you don't remember, here's why you want to call them. If you're listening to this podcast, you're the kind of person that likes investing time and money in yourself, in your career. You want to be the best you can be, right? Well, guess what Lightspeed has? They have a training platform where you can not only see the top trainers in the world, like Tony Robbins, Zig Ziglar, Dave Anderson, Grant Cardone, uh, John Maxwell. My training's on there. They have industry experts it's like uh, in real estate. they got 15 different real estate experts in there that will show you how to sell uh, those, those products. And guess what? For as little as $10 a month, as much as you want to pay, you can only watch their videos and watch their training, but you can get tested on it see how much you remember. See how good you are. And you say, but I'm not an individual. I'm a business owner. Well, call that same number because guess what they'll do? They'll put together a training platform with all your logos on it. So it looks like it's just yours and you can take training you already have and download it in there, create testing and test your people on it. And you can also buy these other trainers we've mentioned. They're called Lightspeed VT. Call them. And when you do, whether you're a business or an individual, tell them the Jeff Cowan told you to call because they've got something special that they will do for you because you now know me. So, Going back to this, we now know the customers have picked you, all right, because what they've read online, they believe that you can handle it, but they're leaving you. And I told you just because you probably don't know who they are, you have old processes, and you're not offering everything they already know they need. So how do you keep them? Like I said, you have to learn word tracks. Well, Jeff, like I said before the break, I don't like word tracks. You know, I don't want to sound like everybody else. I'm not a robot. My customers are different. It's baloney. You not only like word tracks, you love word tracks, and you lose, use word tracks every single day you step on the service drive. How do I know that? Because I've stood there with you thousands of times as you've written up your first customer, didn't they go something like this? You step up there with all the passion and enthusiasm on this new job in the world, and you go to that first customer the very first time you're on a drive, and you say, what do you need? And the customer says, I'm here to get my oil changed. And your eyes get about as big as saucers because now you realize you don't know what to say. So what do you do? You look to the person to the left of you who's been doing the job for several years and you said, what do I say? 
and they told you what to say. They gave you a word track and you took that word track and you repeated it to that brand new customer and that customer responded to that word track in a positive way so you instantly fell in love with it. You put it in a great big bear hug and you've been saying the same thing, same word track every time you're in the same situation. So it's not a question whether or not you like them or not. The only question is are you using the right one at the right time to get the maximum effect? And if you continue to listen to me, I will give you hundreds of word tracks that you can use. Okay, that have already been written that will maximize the opportunity or you can get them from that book right there, How to Write Service and Write Your Own Income or you can go to thejeffcowan.com and watch your video program if you want to get them before I can give them to you on this podcast. So you have to learn word tracks. You're going to have to do things like walk around cars and do visual inspections with your customer by your side as you're walking around the car. That's what these people do that are making 100000 a year and what you'll need to do to do it as well. You'll have to update your process for this new customer. What, what, what worked 10 or 15 years ago, what worked three years ago, for crying out loud, this customer has changed more since 2008 than we've seen him. And here's how I know that. Prior to 2008, I'd been in business for about 15 years and only made two major changes to my content. Why? Because that's all your customer demand. But since 2008, I've made nine major changes to my content. They're changing my... So if you're, using, if you're doing the same thing you were doing three years ago, you're not effective. You have to work on your process. And you're going to have to want to do things like multi-point inspections and learn how to present those multi-point inspections, showing the customer everything they need based on wear and tear, what you visually see, what your technicians are telling you they need, and based on mileage with every car, every time. That's what you're going to have to do. And here's the best thing to do in all those things, having the word tracks, doing the walk-arounds, creating the processes and doing the multi-point inspections and about a half a dozen other things you have to do as well. Here's what's great about it for you that are not in the business and for those that are in the business not making 100 grand. Here's the best news about having to do all that stuff. You don't have to invent it. It's already been invented. Somebody's walked in these shoes before you and somebody's created out created the best way and you're listening to the guy who's created the best way because I will show you techniques and I will give you ideas and I will put together processes for you that will make you the absolute best you're going to be. Because here's the thing, because I even had some people write in and say, you know, you say $100,000, I don't want to make $100,000 a year. You know, I'm making $70,000, I'm happy. I'm making $40,000. Actually, I had some guy call me up and say he's making $40,000 a year on a service drive and he's happy. And I asked him, I said, is anybody else on your drive making more? He said, yeah, there's a couple of people. There's another guy making 80. There's another guy making 90. Well, why would you want to go stand there for 10 hours a day and not maximize the opportunity? So even if you already have everything you, you want in life, maximize the opportunity. Take the extra money, put it away so when you retire, you have plenty of money to play around with. And I can show you how to do that because it's been done before. It's already, you don't have to invent anything. I'm going to show you how to do it. So again, here's the, here's the message this week. Here's how I can ensure you can get this lifestyle you want from what we talked about last week. You have to understand what you're doing here. If, if you're not making this kind of money, it's because you're doing something wrong. There's people, 15 to 20 percent, again, out there that are making this kind of money. And one of the things, that, and there's several things they know, we'll discuss them over the next several weeks, months, and years. And one of the things they know is that this new customers picked them. They're already sold. They know it's never been easier. All they have to do is memorize some word tracks, 20, 30, 40, or 50 of them, and use them word for word. They have to have an updated process that includes a walk around and multi point inspections and how to make presentations and how to close sales and how to follow up. And here's the best news, like I already said, repeating myself, you don't have to invent it because somebody's already done it. I've got a process for you right there. You can just continue to listen to me or you can follow the people on your driver making that kind of money. So that's this week's message. And this is Jeff Cowan from thejeffcowan.com. Hey, go to thejeffcowan.com because if you like this podcast, but this podcast, you're going to love the other products we have there. I have DVDs. I have online training that you can subscribe to. I have both business and student fee structures set up for that. I have workshops. Man, if you like this, come and see me in a two-day workshop. I will knock you out of your chair with information and content that will allow you to be the absolute best you can be. And, one of the, and I also can come to your place and do private workshops. If your business is big enough, wants to support, I can do keynote address. I can do it all, man. And I do it with, with passion and enthusiasm simply because I love what I do and you should too because if you do you can have whatever you want out of life because you live in the good old United States of America and so there we go with this week and I just want you to do me a favor just like last week I want you between now and next week to work on these things and between now and next week I want you to make it a great week because here's something I can guarantee you I will do every week myself I will make every week every day every hour great you do the same until then until next week at noon eastern 9 pacific time Make it a great week. I'll see you then. Take care, folks. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks.